There might be some errors. There's gonna be some errors. Today I'm in San Francisco with the City Surf Project. They are an organization that bring inner city kids to this place and they teach them how to surf. We're gonna go surf like a little longboard style wave, spread some smiles and uh, just spend the day with them. He's about to make $7 million doing this climb. A bet with Hunter. Crap! It's just a nightmare. Oh. Oh. He's there with the double up. Oh, what? First test with the new GoPro. Let me see. That's tight. Waves look pretty fun. There might be some errors. There's gonna be some errors. We just landed in Osaka, Japan. Say something for the vlog? Yeah. One thing we're working on at HJTV is incorporating more diverse language. I'm going to now introduce a new word we're going to try to use, which is perhaps... Tell us about platter number two. <laughs> Well, platter number two comes with 108 pieces total. 78 pieces with a seafood maki. 30 pieces vegetable maki. Here we are in downtown Miami. Doing this climb. A bet with Hunter. Crap! They're all watching. Sick. Wow! Well, good morning. Perhaps we'll um, get after something exciting. Is that a good one? Yeah. Today I'm in San Francisco with the City Surf Project. They are an organization that bring inner city kids to this place and they teach them how to surf and give them some life skills. And we're gonna go surf like a little longboard style wave, spread some smiles and, uh, and yeah, just spend the day with them. We work with kids in the city that would normally get a chance to go surfing or experience the ocean and build life skills and uh, build environmental stewardship through surfing. What's really inspiring about working with all the youth that we do is just how much surfing can have an impact on someone's life. Surfing for me has changed just about everything. I started as a student and now I get to be like a leader in this sort of way like seeing Jelly representing women of color, women of this generation who are like surfing, and I love getting to come out every single week and saying like, yeah, I surf with them. It's like amazing to put your like soul out there and not be judged. The biggest reward for me is definitely just being able to build community. That's still one of the best things. That's so cool to like share with all these kids It's epic, too, right? it's epic. A lot of families, surfing is super foreign. And you know, when we think of surfing, you don't think of you know people of color surfing and we're slowly changing that landscape we're slowly kind of changing the face of the lineup when we bring our youth out and people are super super stoked on it we all have different lives we all come from different backgrounds we have different barriers that come in our way and we can only control what we can control right so for me i knew i could work on my surfing i could surround myself with good people kind of like what you guys have here you have a rad community and those are the things in life I think you really need to invest in. You know, they might be struggling in school and they go surfing and have that sense of belonging, sense of community that we give. And then also just as surfers, you know, I think sometimes we take it for granted how much like surfing keeps us mentally in a stable place. And when you see that from the third person and see youth that go out time and time again, you see 
what the ocean can do and what surfing can do, it's been awesome to see. Something for the camera? Flip it horizontal. Really good day. We came what we did to do. Do we came to did. What was your favorite wave? <laughs> with the hamburger. I'm here with Matt Devino. Run of the mill camera gear search. Matt, how many times has this happened to you? At least 10,000. It's probably the most exciting part of their day. Oh. Still, oh, you can pour it out. If you want to dump it out, you have to go back through this little screen run back through. Matt is going to have to now, to keep the bottle, go through security again. Just to dump it, right? Just to dump it out. Just on a whim, Hunter. Timothy. Just like, I don't know, free thinking, whatever. Like, you could probably just dump it right here, right? Perhaps. <sighs> just get ready. Just shaking off the nerves. The Shade Hotel, Redondo Beach. It's interesting when you get a job and they're like, all right, go have fun. Jeez. Sorry. <laughs> oh, shoot, we're coming up on it. Oh, are we here? It's right here. Shoot, I missed it. That's it. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Whoa. Hi. Very nice. Really? Yeah. That These fancy ass gummy bears. <laughs> This. Hunter is serving the butterfly. What well, behind the scenes? What can you say? Uh, we're here in the Shade Hotel. I'm, I'm getting all my content ready, and Tim's gonna go in the jacuzzi, which is really a bathtub. Coming down or what? Let me talk to my wife. Hey, Amy, I need emotional support. <laughs> no, but seriously, like, I've been working hard. <laughs> I haven't surfed in a long time, and all my bros are surfing to him here right now. Well, when you put it that way. <laughs> Dar, hey. are you going surfing right now? If you guys are going, maybe I'll go. Come. Poito's coming, Eason's coming. It's just a nightmare. <laughs> I figure if I can cut Hunter off enough time to drop in on him, That's maybe I can re-injure his leg. How do you feel about that, Hunter? I think the parking spot would just bait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hunter. Woo. Hunter on a ankle snapper. Oh. Oh. Right away. Look at him. Come on, do it there. Come on, do it. That's like probably the best thing to see all day. Oh, oh. Dang, what? Easton with the double up. Oh, what? Come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Woo! Pop your eye. Mom, I fell down the slide. Like you fell down the slide? Yeah. No, no. no. Hey, quick note for Hunter. Hey, Hunt. Uh, click and subscribe. Click, like the comment. Like, comment, and subscribe.